Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can capture the sounds coming off of your um, of your guitar uh, application, guitar program like Guitar Rig. You know, if, if you have a different standalone guitar app, um, you know, I'll show you how you can get OBS capture the sound directly from it without the use of any DAW, such as like uh, Cakewalk by BandLab or uh, Reaper such we're not gonna need those so if you're someone who likes covering songs and recording yourself making cover songs you know this is the best way to do it if you're not into you know post editing stuff and whatnot this is like one of the cleanest way to do it like myself don't like to um, do post production stuff whenever I'm covering songs I'll show you how first let me show you the guitar software I'm using I'm using Guitar Rig 5 <coughs> As you might already know some of my videos um i'm just using guitar rig and this i'm just recording it directly into obs i'm not doing any post-production stuff or whatnot um so right now when i play this it's not set up so that obs captures the sound yet so when i play this you might hear the guitar sound coming off from my speakers being captured by my microphone right here so i'm gonna play it you can see the input and output of guitar rig. You hear the sounds coming off and it's being captured by my microphone. It's not being captured by OBS directly and uh, I'll show you how to do that. By the way, this guitar rig is currently um, set up with ASIO for all. Most standalone uh, sound softwares you know, would work with ASIO for all for latency issues. And I'm going to show you um, what tool we're going to use. To, so that OBS captures the sound of guitar link directly, guitar rig directly. So I'm going to switch this off for now. First, we're going to need to download the file. This is a free file I just found on the internet. I'm going to put this link in the description box below. So I'll just copy this link and I'm going to use a different browser. So if I paste that, <clears throat> it's going to take you to this page right here, Asher Pro Link, and then just download. The file right there. <clears throat> it's free, guys. And then just click here, show in folder. All right, so this is what you're gonna get. And then I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. There you go. Should be given this folder. And then you see these two executable files right here. There you go. So first, what we need to we need to open up is Asher Pro Link first install the software I'm showing you I'm, I'm installing it so that you guys know it's a trusted uh, software I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it I already have it installed but just click it anyway and then once you have it installed you're gonna wanna click this install it dispatcher and then in your case you're gonna want to install bulk 32-bit and 64-bit since I already have it installed, you know, it's showing that, but in your case, it should patch it up. And then once you have it, what you're going to want to do next is pull up your guitar software. Again, I'm going to pull up Guitar Rig 5. <clears throat> and then from here, I'm going to minimize this for the meantime. Let's move this here. You're going to want to go to File and go to Audio and MIDI Settings. All right, remember we're all set up with ASIO so you're gonna want to change this to the driver change it to or change the config <laughs> change it to ASIO Pro ASIO Link Pro all right once you click on that and you hit OK post this up all right so you might want to play around with the latency and settings on this so in order for you to configure that here's what you need to do click on ASIO Panel. This brings it up. So what I'm using as an, an, an interface is the Cube Baby, uh, the Cube Baby uh, interface. So that's what I'm using. So I turned off all the other ins and outs. I just turned on Cube Baby, then in, and then of course for my audio output here, the out there, got that set up. And then for the rest, you just to just collapse it and then just turn off the rest of them right like this 
it's collapsed so, so you guys are not confused so basically what I have turned on is my audio output see the output I'm using the real tech audio output for my speakers and then for the input this is what I'm using the QBaby audio interface I turned off the out from from the QBaby audio I prefer using the real tech um, audio output it minimizes the lags and you might want to play around the buffer size for the latency and whatnot so what I did was say max it out you know if your machine can handle it just I suggest you try and do so so that's what it is and then you just close this one out and uh, you hit OK now once you're here you're gonna you're gonna want to link it to OBS now this is where the magic happens so if I play this you still won't hear it actually it's already there um, I already have this set up audio input capture but let's say for instance I don't have this let me remove this let's say I don't have that so basically here's what you need to do you click the plus button and then you click audio input capture all right and then okay and then you choose mix one of ASU Pro Driver mix one okay there and then hit okay to so come up with this one right here I go you're gonna want to play with the levels on this you don't want to be clipping so um, earlier you were only hearing the sounds coming out from my speaker being captured by the mic right now you should hear the audio input from guitar right here I'm not actually playing guys I'm just showing you an example so that's how it works once I have that link you know you can go ahead and do whatever you want with it you can record with it you know if you check out my other videos this is how I've been doing it um, just have my guitar rig linked to my OBS and then just record it that way of course I need to make sure that the sounds are balanced it's pretty much what I do um, before recording and then once once all that gets checked out you know just simply hit record of course with the camera on and whatnot um, just check out my videos if you're interested in you know how that turns out and um, yeah I'll probably do another video on how I, I, I do this completely but for now this is mainly for you know connecting guitar rig to your, your OBS so in my case I want to bring that down a little so that's it guys enjoy